ever wondered how to tell the difference between genuine empathy and narcissistic empathy. It's an important distinction, with one being the mark of true connection and the other a tool for manipulation. Genuine empathy is all about understanding and sharing the feelings of others. Narcissistic empathy, on the other hand, is a self-serving act, often used to control or gain from others. It's a complex topic, but crucial to navigating relationships and protecting your emotional well-being. Let's delve deeper and understand the signs of genuine empathy. Genuine empathy is all about understanding and sharing someone else's feelings. It's like stepping into someone else's shoes and experiencing their emotions, their joys and sorrows, their triumphs and failures. It's about being there for them, not just in word, but in deed. The first sign of genuine empathy is a focus on your feelings. When someone is truly empathetic, they will actively listen to you, validate your emotions without judgment, and strive to understand your perspective. They won't interrupt or try to fix things right away. Instead, they'll offer their support, making you feel heard and understood. Secondly, there's emotional congruence. In genuine empathy, there's alignment between what is said and what is shown. You'll notice that their verbal and non-verbal cues match. They may mirror your emotions, but not in a contrived or overdone way. It feels natural, sincere. Then there's the action and follow through. Genuine empathy is more than just words. It's about showing up, being there, offering help in tangible ways. It's about making sacrifices at times to support the person you empathize with. It's about proving that you're not just saying you care, but showing it in your actions. Unconditional acceptance is another hallmark of genuine empathy. Someone with real empathy accepts you as you are, flaws and all. They don't try to change you or demand constant reassurance. They simply accept you for who you are and they love you all the same. Lastly, there's the sustainable interest. Someone with genuine empathy doesn't just care in the moment. Their concern for your well-being extends beyond the immediate situation. They maintain a consistent interest in your life and your emotions even when the going gets tough. Now let's contrast these with the signs of narcissistic empathy. Narcissistic empathy, on the other hand, is about manipulation and control. The first sign is conditional support. A narcissist will only offer empathy when it benefits them, like gaining your trust or appearing compassionate in front of others. Their support comes with strings attached, leaving you feeling indebted or obligated to them. Next, we have over-dramatization. Narcissists are excellent actors, often exaggerating their concern or sympathy to manipulate you or attract attention. Their reactions may seem larger than life, making you question the sincerity behind their words. Thirdly, narcissists lack accountability. They're experts at blaming others for their actions or deflecting responsibility for causing you pain, even when their feigned empathy played a part in the situation. They rarely apologize, and if they do, it's often insincere or followed by an excuse. The fourth sign is emotional manipulation. Narcissists use empathy as a tool to control your actions or gain an advantage in the relationship. They may use tactics like pity, guilt or fear to manipulate your emotions and responses. The fifth sign is a shallow understanding. Their empathy is often superficial, lacking true insight into your emotions or perspective. They might offer generic platitudes instead of genuine understanding, making you feel unheard and invalidated. Lastly, we have self-serving focus. A narcissist's empathy often circles back to themselves. They might use your vulnerability as an opportunity to talk about their own experiences or seek your praise. Their empathy often feels like a one-way street, with their needs and feelings taking precedence over yours. Beyond these signs, there are additional clues to watch out for. A lack of reciprocity and a history of manipulation are red flags that the person may be using empathy for their own gain. Remember to observe the bigger picture and trust your gut. If their empathy feels off, it probably is. Establish clear boundaries and prioritize your emotional well-being. It's not selfish, it's self-care. Some additional clues can help you distinguish between genuine and narcissistic empathy. Firstly, pay attention to the lack of reciprocity. If the person rarely shows empathy towards others, even when it's deserved, that's a red flag. Secondly, consider their history. If you've seen them using manipulative tactics in other situations, it's likely they're doing the same with their empathy. 
Don't just consider isolated instances. Look at their overall pattern of behavior. Are their actions consistent with their words? Or are they all talk and no action? Trust your gut feeling too. If you sense something is off about their empathy, it probably is. Our intuition can be a powerful tool in detecting manipulation. Setting healthy boundaries is crucial. It's not just about protecting yourself from manipulation, but also about preserving your well-being. You shouldn't have to sacrifice your peace of mind for someone else's perceived empathy. Remember, it's okay to say no and distance yourself from individuals who drain your emotional resources. In the end, it's about paying close attention to the nuances of behavior and prioritizing your own emotional health. It's not always easy to discern genuine empathy from its narcissistic imitation. It takes time, patience, and a keen sense of observation. But by being vigilant and taking care of yourself, you can navigate these complicated relationships with greater clarity and protect yourself from emotional harm. Remember, discerning true empathy from its manipulative imitation takes time and awareness. In conclusion, distinguishing between genuine and narcissistic empathy can be challenging. The subtle nuances of behavior, the motivations behind actions, and the consistency of emotional responses all play a significant role in this distinction. To recap, genuine empathy is characterized by a focus on your feelings, emotional congruence, action and follow through, unconditional acceptance, and a sustainable interest in your well being. On the other hand, fake narcissistic empathy might manifest as conditional support, over dramatization, a lack of accountability, emotional manipulation, shallow understanding, and a self serving focus. Remember, it's important to observe the bigger picture, trust your instincts and set healthy boundaries. And above all, prioritize your emotional well-being. If you're struggling with a manipulative relationship, don't hesitate to reach out for professional support. Remember, protecting your emotional well-being is paramount.